Hello everyone, welcome to episode 170 of Sleep and Relax ASMR. Today I um, am getting ready to take a flight later in the evening. Right now this is, uh, well I'm recording this early in the morning. And so I kind of started thinking, what are some of the uh, tools and hacks um, that I've uh, developed and purchased over the last many years of having to fly a little more often than I'd probably like and what are some things that maybe I'm thinking of of getting or doing in order to make traveling a little um, easier or a little less uh, stressful in my case I don't love flying um, I'm not afraid of flying it doesn't give me anxiety I just don't like being in an airport for that long. I don't like the security. I don't like having to take off my shoes. I don't like someone asking me why I'm taking this or why I'm taking that. Um, but there are definitely some some items and again, some things that uh, really help me at least to help time go by a little faster and, and make the experience a little more enjoyable. So I am... Um, going to talk about a few tools um, here I have a list of I think 15 uh, I think I'll touch on on maybe 10 of them because um, my notes are sort of more like a rough draft than anything else but yeah here are um, here are at least 10 travel tools um, that I've adopted and use in order to help me travel a little uh, a little easier So the first item I want to touch on is the Halava Travel Backpack. If you're like me, you may be a little um, paranoid when traveling that your belongings are going to be stolen or that someone's just going to unzip your backpack and then they're going to take your phone or they're going to take your laptop or your tablet or whatever, um, your favorite pair of underwear that you packed in there, and then all of a sudden... It's just gone. And so this was, um, this has always been something that I've concerned myself with. And then I uh, heard um, on another podcast, it might have been Tim Ferriss, maybe not, um, about a travel backpack that basically opens from the back. So rather than having a zipper that you um, unzip in the traditional way, you know, or having multiple zippers that you can just zip and unzip from the traditional angle. This one actually unzips basically from where the um, straps, are they called straps on a backpack? Where the straps um, meet the body of, of the uh, backpack, there's actually a zipper. So basically, when you are walking around with a backpack on your back or it's laying down on its back you can't open it right the only way to open it is is um is again with the uh zipper that's located on the back and um this has been a huge help for me again i've i've just always been a little um paranoid when it comes to, when it comes to this so this has made traveling easier for me because I am no longer nearly as concerned that my stuff will go missing or magically disappear and this backpack I purchased um, not that long ago I've traveled a couple times it's it's uh, it's not that large um, I think it's like 10 inches it's here Oh, here I have the measurements. 10 inches by 4.3 inches by 17 inches. So length, width, height. So it's not a giant backpack, depend, depending on on uh, how heavy or light you like to travel or how big or small your uh, laptop or tablet is. It can either be a perfect size or maybe a little small. Um, I doubt anyone will find it too big. Now, a really neat feature about the Halava travel backpack is it actually has a USB charging port 
um, and it's it's supposed to be waterproof so it, it, it sort of adds that level of protection and security simply because of where the zipper is located but it's also um, basically a mobile charge station which again is really great I'm, I'm typically I'm typically very good about charging my my phone in particular so when I travel I almost never run into the issue that I have to travel my phone or travel my phone uh, charge my phone um, next to a pay phone you know in the corner of an abandoned part of the airport um, but it's a feature that for sure one day I know will come in handy now in the pictures on Amazon you know they make it seem like this super sturdy um, backpack but and it is it's not to say that it's it's not um, it's it's kind of like a, a soft uh, canvas uh, material here I'm, I'm looking for the exact uh, material while trying to record the podcast at the same time but it, it's sort of mostly like a, a soft canvas material looks like and um, it doesn't feel bad um, but it is it's def- it definitely doesn't maintain uh, a very solid shape like other backpacks um, but again if you go to Amazon and you kind of take a look you'll be able to see um, you'll actually be able to see others uh, photos of what the backpack looks like there are a few other backpacks that uh, seem to be very similar um, what I definitely like about this one is on Amazon right now in the USA it's only listed at 33 bucks others are a little more expensive um, some are 40 bucks so it's again it's a worthwhile investment especially if you um, again become a little bit paranoid about traveling with your backpacks and worrying about people getting into them or if you're the kind of person that uh, constantly is running around with your phone on low battery yeah you can kind of kill two birds with one stone you know it's 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 really um it's very it's really a practical choice when traveling for just the usb port and the uh the location of the zipper and where it opens up from so the hal of a travel backpack is my first tool i am going to include a direct link to uh the backpack on amazon in the show notes so you can just easily click on there and check out that backpack okay moving on to my second tool um, probably not one that you hear about that often uh, but my second tool um, is uh, picking up a pair of max um, soft silicone earplugs preferably a four pack now the reason why I recommend these is these are the type of earplugs that you'll see, for example, swimmers kind of use. It's sort of like a um, soft, waxy. They almost look like mint uh, candies from a distance, but it's this. They're soft silicone earplugs, and what makes them, uh, in particular, awesome for air for for traveling on an airplane is it is very difficult to find a comfortable position on an airplane, and when you do. The last thing you want is um, for hard earplugs to be jamming into your ear and making that position, you know, converting that position from what would be otherwise comfortable to very uncomfortable. I recommend these earplugs in particular because you you sort of smear them, uh, you sort of gently insert in your ear and you, you kind of just like mold them to the shape of your ear. And they block out noise really well. And again, because they're they're made of silicon, silicon, silicone, um, they they adapt to the shape of your ear. With hard earplugs, inevitably, what happens is they'll start jamming into your ear, and that becomes very uncomfortable. I like to try to sleep on as many flights as possible. Most of the flights I take are four hours plus, um, and that that can be, you know. Sometimes I use for work, but a lot of times I really just want to take a nap or close my eyes or not hear, uh, you know, the baby in, in row seven um, um, uh, 
screaming. Poor little thing. But, you know, I, I just, I don't want to, don't want to hear it. So you can pick up a pair of Max uh, soft silicon earplugs also on Amazon. And I will include a direct link uh, to, to this product on the uh, show notes of this episode as well. Okay, my third travel tool is the Zoppin. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. I purchased it recently and I love it, but it's the Zoppin multi purpose RIFD blocking travel passport wallet. So it's a tri fold document organizer folder um, that basically allows you to travel with, you know, a pen your boarding passes, your passport, uh, some change, some dollar bills, or, you know, well, whatever currency you need to take. Um, I, I really despise reaching into my backpack or my back pocket to pull out my passport, pulling out a pen from the depths of my backpack, um, you know, having my boarding passes crumpled up in, in, in the, the plastic bag at the store I bought a magazine from. I'm typically pretty organized. Um, but what I've really, what really inclined me to want to become a little more organized by purchasing the, this multi-purpose passport wallet is because it's designed with the, with the idea of being specifically a travel wallet I find that's a little bit bigger so it finds you know you'll find space for your boarding passes you'll find space for your passport um I typically I I don't really I don't put it in my backpack or excuse me my back pocket I leave it in my uh backpack in my halibut backpack um just sort of on the bottom excuse me and I'll without a doubt always include um my passport, uh, my credit cards, my boarding pass or my boarding passes. Essentially what I do is I switch out my regular wallet. Um, and while I'm traveling, I leave my regular wallet in my backpack, you know, in, in a different compartment, um, or, or, um, even in my check-in sometimes just my empty wallet. Um, and I will go around replacing that wallet with my, um, travel wallet, my travel passport wallet specifically for that trip. Because again, I want to have my passport along with my ID, along with my boarding passes, along with my credit cards, along with, you know, my cash all in one place. Because for me, again, me being the same person that becomes paranoid that someone could take my, um, my, my stuff in my backpack, I also worry that by not having everything, um, together, I also could lose something or, you know, just, I I just, I don't want anything to go wrong. I used to be a very unorganized traveler when I was very young and I think that's really caught up to me. Um, other people seem to really like this product that has over a thousand reviews on Amazon and it's pushing a four and a half star. They have a ton of different colors, um, which is nice. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan because a lot of their colors are actually quite, quite colorful. Um, I bought mine just in black. Um, but they do have a ton of colors, um, that you can pick from. So just like with the other two, uh, travel tools, I'm going to include a direct link, uh, to the Zoppin multi-purpose, uh, travel passport wallet in this episode's show notes. Next item, next travel tool. It's actually one that I have not purchased, but I am inclined to purchase because I've heard great things from friends that have it. And it has uh, pretty damn good reviews on Amazon as well with more than 2000 reviews. And again, pushing a four and a half star uh, rating. It is a Cabo, I think I'm pronouncing it, Cabo Evolution Memory Foam Travel Pillow. 
they claim it's the best neck pillow with 360 degree head and neck support. The reason why I'm so inclined to want to try this is, again, with the Max soft silicone uh, earplugs, I'm blocking out noise. With my Halibut travel backpack and my travel wallet, I know my stuff is safe. But then, let's say I'm on a four and a half hour flight. I got on the plane at six in the morning. I, I really just want to sleep at that point for a little bit. Most, if not all, of the um, travel pillows that I have used, that I've purchased in airports, don't work for me. They are either a little too small or they are um, just flat out uncomfortable or not functional for me. Um, I have a friend, again, who owns this travel pillow in particular that he said he couldn't recommend enough. I haven't had a chance to actually try it around my neck yet. Um, but after reading some of the reviews, it seems... What's nice about this travel pillow really is um, it's a little bit thicker than a lot of the other ones I've seen. Um, and it looks like the design, it's, it's sort of a regular travel pillow. And then it has these very high arcing or arching, um, areas that, that sort of like represent the back of your head and the side of your neck, just to give you a little more support. I think they actually come with earplugs as well, but I guess that's just a, a benefit, right? If I'm able to, to use that one as well. Um, but yeah, they look, they look, they look pretty comfortable. Um, a lot of the reviews are, are pretty positive as well. So hopefully with this pillow, um, I'll purchase sometime soon. Um, I won't be able to travel with it this time, but I'll take it with me next time and probably let you guys know how it goes. But anything can be better than the travel pillows I've bought at um, airports in the past. Those are, they just really don't work for me. So Cab Evolution Memory Foam, direct link in the show notes uh, to this product on Amazon. Next travel tool, another one that I haven't purchased yet, but I'm really interested. So as you can tell... Um, I think part of the reason why I become so paranoid about people taking my things on flights is I do tend to want to sleep on planes. It doesn't mean I fall asleep on most flights. It means that on most flights, I'm interested in taking a nap because I'm tired because a lot of my flights just so happen to leave very, very, very early in the morning. So at this point, I have my earplugs, which I've used before. Fantastic. I'm interested in buying the... Um, Cabo memory foam uh, travel pillow as I just mentioned but there's another product that I think would be really cool and it's called the uh, well it's called the triple Z band pilot created well you know on Amazon they, they put on these huge names it's the triple Z triple Z band um, they call it travel pillow alternative really what I'm interested in this product for is it's basically a, um, a, a a blindfold that looks like it covers um, all um, all all possible um, lines of eyesight. I don't know what you call it. It's it's quite large in terms of the area covers on your face, but you can actually wrap a strap around the back of your headrest so that your head doesn't move forward. So this for me is perfect because I I am always inclined to uh, bob my head forward. And so sometimes when I am able to fall asleep, I wake up with terrible neck pain. They're advertising this as a neck pillow, um, but I found this on Amazon. I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe I can alternate it with my, my travel pillow. It doesn't look that comfortable as a travel pillow. It looks like its main function and the one that I'm interested in is... Again, as a blindfold to block out light. I mean, I'm, I promise I'm not an, anti, an antisocial guy. I just, on a flight, I don't want to hear you talk. I don't want to see you. I don't want to be bothered by 
you know, the person next to me who needs to have the window open for five hours as the sun is coming up. Um, and I, I, I don't want to wake up in neck pain. So it's kind of a confusing name because, again, it's Triple Z Band. I guess it's just called the Triple Z Band. Triple Z Band. There we go. But I don't know if they mean to call it like the Z Band or the Sleep Band. It's, it's in my opinion, poor, poor, a bad name. I mean, the the point is is understood, but it's not uh, not a good name in my opinion. But the Triple Z Band. So yeah, you you literally just have a strap. Um, some of the people on the Amazon reviews are saying that um, it works on most flights, most airplane seats. Sometimes it gets it gets a little too tight, but. I'm a big believer that it doesn't matter what flight you're on, what doesn't matter what plane you're on, doesn't matter what airline you're flying. If you're on an airplane for four plus hours, there are going to be times in which you're uncomfortable. So if the triple Z band can help me retain good neck and head position for most of my flight, I think I'm okay with that. So that's another travel tool that I personally don't own right now, but that I am looking at uh, seriously considering and I think you should too so um, as always with the other products I am including a direct link in the show notes all right the next travel tool is the uh, another brand slash product that has in my opinion a stupid name uh, but it's new Arcoto space saver compression bags and I bought the 10 pack so basically what these do is these help um, minimize the total amount of space that your clothes occupy in your luggage. I don't like to travel with two bags, two pieces of luggage. I don't like to travel with a carry-on most of the time, aside from my backpack. I don't like to just have clothes mixed in with um, mixed in with chargers, mixed in with papers, mixed in with bills mixed in with I, I really just like that so um, what I've really enjoyed about this uh, this 10 pack of compression bags is I'm able to save a ton of space and for the most part what would otherwise be one full luggage in a carry-on or two full luggages um, now becomes comfortably one luggage and maybe even a little space to save so basically just put your your clothes into these compression bags um, and, and, uh, I mean, really for the most part, the bag will kind of do the, the, the work for you. Um, you know, they're, they're not, they're not the most special things, right? Like it's not, it's not this crazy product that just like reduces the size that your shirts occupy in your bag by, you know, 80%, but you know, they do help to just make sure that your, your clothes stay in a, uh, neat and tidy and very um, organized way in your bag. So if you're the kind of person that does not like to travel heavy or doesn't want to spend an extra 50 bucks on a second piece of luggage, then um, these compression bags might help you to save enough space so that you're actually traveling lighter than you thought you would in the past. So new Arcoto Space Saver compression bags, terrible name. Come in a 10 pack on Amazon, and I will include the link to their to its Amazon page in the show notes. Okay, I think this might be tool number seven or eight. Um, but I don't want the episode to run too long, and maybe I'll make this a recurring series uh, every now and then. But my next tool, one that I think is essential, and one that I've I've learned the necessity of is um, the Bizond uh, steamer. It's a mini steamer. It's very compact. It's very portable, and it's a handheld steamer uh, for travel and home. Um, what I love about this is, um, typically when I travel, it is for business, but every now and then it's for fun. Um, and it doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm trying to reopen my notes here. 
it, it, it really doesn't matter if you're traveling for fun or if you're traveling for work. If you're going to be wearing, you know, a formal shirt or pants or you just don't want your clothes to look wrinkled when you see your family you haven't visited in five years, get a mini steamer. Get a mini steamer so that you always have one available so that you can easily remove all the wrinkles um, from your clothes. I've had it a couple times where um, I've actually been to a hotel that obviously they have uh, irons and steamers, but in that particular hotel, it didn't work. Um, and then I just forgot to ask for another one. And so I showed up to a meeting the morning after in a very wrinkled shirt that looked ridiculous. Um, and likewise, I've stayed in a couple Airbnbs where the hosts just don't offer steamers or irons. And it's just something they kind of forget about. Um, so this, this, the, the, the Bizond, um, I call it Bizond. It might be Bizond, but I call it Bizond. The mini steamer just helps to remove all the wrinkles, uh, from your, from your clothes. And again, it's nice and portable. It actually looks pretty nice as well. It's got a really nice little design to it. Um, Again, I don't like to show up to meetings. I don't like to show up to family dinners. I don't like to show up to to even coffee dates with friends that I haven't seen in a while wearing wrinkly clothes. And a lot of times I'll pack my clothes in a way, especially the compression bags, where they don't have a ton of wrinkles or they don't have any wrinkles at all. But this is more just uh, uh, an insurance policy. Treat the mini steamer as an insurance policy so that you don't show up looking a little bit messy and a little tired. Um to your meeting or to your lunch date or to your dinner date or whatever it may be. So, uh, again, I'm going to include the link to this product in the Amazon, in the Amazon, in the, uh, show notes for this episode. Um, pretty good reviews on Amazon. It has, uh, I think it's 150 or something like that. But, um, for me, it's, it's definitely been a five star. And I think, move on to the next one next product here all right my next travel tool one that seems a little silly it's going to seem a little silly but um for me is an essential travel tool for myself it is absolutely essential to travel these and it's the stallmates flushable individually wrapped wipes okay it's 30 wipes on the go that you can flush down the toilet I don't like going in public stalls or public bathrooms. I don't uh, like um, using friends or family's toilets for my necessities. Um, I don't like showing up to meetings sweaty. I don't like um, not feeling fresh uh, to go to places. And with the stallmates um, wipes, Again, just like the mini steamer, just like the Bizon mini steamer is an insurance policy, the stallmates are an insurance policy in the event that you have an accident or an emergency and um, you need that little extra bit of freshness that just makes traveling and, and being on the go a little more comfortable. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing your needs in a public place or in a friend's or family's house. But I find that these give me a little extra sense of cleanliness. Uh, let's say I am taking public transportation um, and I happen to sweat. I sweat a lot, unfortunately. And I have a meeting. Rather than just grab toilet paper or toilet or, or paper towel and you know wipe my head with it or wipe my sweat off, I typically just take four or five of these everywhere I go. Um, even when I'm home, but especially when I travel, um, I'll take four or five of these basically just in my um, bag or, you know, one or two in my pocket. And let's say I'm sweating and I'm going to a meeting. I'll take them out, wipe my head with them, wipe my forehead. Um, and it just, you know, it just makes you feel a little fresher heading into these meetings or heading into these um, events that I really like. Same thing on an airplane. Um I'll, I'll take maybe two in my, 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 um, in my pocket and mid flight, I'll take them out and I'll just kind of, you know, wipe my hands with them, wipe my forehead with them. 
and and it's not a substitute obviously for showering or anything like that i mean you know i make sure that i'm always very clean wherever i go but these come in handy to give you a little extra sense of freshness and a little bit of insurance in the event that you do have an emergency in public and you don't want to walk around feeling dirty really i love the fact that they're flushable i typically don't flush them down the toilet anyway um because you never know just how flushable they actually are um but they're individually wrapped so that makes them easy to take just one or two on a plane or on the go and um yeah they've been great so stallmates flushable individually wrapped wipes for travel i'm including the link on amazon in the show notes So I'm not sure if we're by tool number 10 or 11 or 8 or 5. Um, I lost track because I'm focused on just, you know, reading my notes and making sure that I'm doing an okay job. My last tool, um, it's going to sound cheesy, I know. It's going to sound self-promotional. Self-promo- it's not. I promise. It is, in my opinion, an essential travel tool. It's audible for me. Don't moan. Don't don't say, oh, my God, this guy really wants to plug his... his uh, his promo code in there but it's true for me i love podcasts i love listening to podcasts when i'm at the gym going for a walk anything but when i'm traveling there's something so um so disappointing about a 30 minute podcast in a four-hour flight that you know that when each episode ends you're only 30 minutes closer to getting to your final destination with audible what's great is and by the way if you don't have wi-fi or if you didn't download your podcast episodes you're screwed you're in silence for the entire flight with audible what i love is i'm able to listen to audiobooks which are you know if there's a great audiobook on an interesting subject or an interesting story told by a great narrator it's a lovely experience so it gives me more typically more than four hours worth of content and again, because they're not necessarily timed chapters, um, you you don't you don't really get the sense of you know that time is moving slowly. But you can also download your audiobooks to any device, and they're available offline. That's amazing. So I've listened to a couple of audiobooks um, offline, and. It's been incredible, right? Because I get to listen to an audiobook. I I enjoy podcasts and audiobooks. And it helps time go by faster because, again, I don't know how long it's been since the last time the chapter started. I'm just enjoying a story um, that I'm going to get invested into because I know that I've, you know, I've got a couple hours left on this flight, right? So Audible is definitely an important travel tool for myself and if you give it a shot i think you'll see that it is a great travel tool for you as well so obviously we're still running a promo with audible um if you'd like to get 30 day free trial and one free um audiobook download you go to audibletrial.com slash sleep and relax asmr audibletrial.com slash sleep and relax asmr and i um, of course, we'll include a direct link in the show notes to that. So anyway, those are my uh, top travel tools. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I have a few more in my notes that I'd uh, probably like to share in the future. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know, and I'll keep on doing it, or I'll do it again. I'll visit it again in the future. If you have questions or comments, you can always send them to hello at Sleep and Relax ASMR. Um, don't forget, you can also really help support the show in a big way through patreon.com slash sleep and relax ASMR. But, um, that's all for this episode. Thanks as always for listening and take care.